my dad had a bad day yesterday, he was feeling pretty weak. Today he was, seems like he was pretty good. Um, uh, my mom was, went to church and uh, you know, we had something to eat and all that. Uh, but uh, I guess at night he was upstairs, I don't know what he was doing. Uh, but, uh, all I heard was bang, and then, so, mom called for me, so I went upstairs, and he'd fallen right on the floor, um, so I don't know what happened, he wasn't, like, it wasn't like last time where he was wearing those thick socks, like, because it was slippery, um, so I'm not sure if he was lightheaded, or, uh, if he slipped on the rug, or what happened, anyways, he banged his head pretty bad, um, he's got some cuts on his arms, so I had some stuff I put on his, on his arms, he's got quite a few bruises and stuff, so I put stuff on his arms, um, put some band-aids on, but then he took, uh, he took, uh, some, uh, Tylenol for his headache, so hopefully he's feeling better tomorrow, but yeah, it just sucks, he just keeps falling, uh, yeah, for a while he wasn't falling much at all, but recently he's starting to fall again, so hopefully, uh, I uh, doesn't happen too much more here. I to keep an eye on him a little more, I guess. Because uh, a while back he started falling a little more, but then he got his strength back, and then now he's kind of getting back into the falling more. So uh, he just, he, I don't know if it happens more after he gets his stomach pump. He got his stomach pump there the other day, so I don't know if it's because of that. I know when his stomach's full of fluid, he gets his he has equilibrium problems. Uh, I know he's kind of, uh, because of all of his uh, falls and that, he's kind of, sore all over the place so it's hard for us to pick him up and I know when I picked him up earlier today kind of tweaked my back a bit it's not so bad now but I mean when you're picking him up right from like you know a dead kind of and, he, and he's in pain so you got to kind of kind of maneuver him so you don't you know and it's hard to like bend your knees sometimes so I'd rather do it myself than my mom do it and they still haven't like we asked for that uh, a while back to give him like there's some harness that's supposed to be my friend of mine said it's really it makes it easier and they still never gave it to us I mean, uh, don't get me started on the stupid nurse and his bullshit and what's going on with the specialists and all the bullshit that's going on. Like, it's ridiculous, uh, all the crap. Anyways, I won't go into that, but yeah, it's very frustrating, especially the way my dad, the state my dad's in, and you're like, not really getting much help. So, anyways, maybe I'll go on a rant some other time, but uh, hopefully he's feeling a little bit better tomorrow. Hopefully he doesn't, hopefully he's, doesn't fall as much as he was. And, uh, yeah, so I'll keep you guys posted, so hopefully, uh, tomorrow's a better day, so. My mom won't be gone as much, hopefully, tomorrow. And then when she came home, she had something to eat. My dad had eaten yet, I guess. She was outside with her friends, because obviously in Ontario, in, in communist Ontario, we can't eat in the restaurants right now, because of fraud there. Premier fraud's pretty much locked us down again. You know, but when you're bought and paid for by the, the, the elite uh, satanic lambs, you know, you do what they tell you, because they keep paying you money to do what they tell you. Anyways, so we got to rise up against all this propaganda and communist bullshit. Uh, they're treating us like freaking, um, you know, sheep and, and uh, like, like leading lambs to slaughter. Anyways, I won't go into too much about that. But if you live in Ontario, you live in the U.S., you, you know what's going on. It's uh, It's not right. Anyways, stay positive, guys. We'll talk to you later.